assalamu alaikum students so today the question is what is the relationship between gamma function and zeta function so we know that gamma function is equal to integral from 0 to infinity x power n minus 1 e power negative of x dx it is equal to gamma of n and gamma of n is equal to n minus 1 whole factorial for example integral from 0 to infinity x power 10 is e, e power negative of x dx it is equal to x power 100 e power negative of x dx it is equal to gamma of x of x which is equal to 100 factorial now what is the relationship between gamma function and zeta function now we know that gamma of n is equal to integral from 0 to infinity x power n minus 1 e power negative of x d x let x is equal to l m now l is a constant and m is a variable now d x is equal to l d m now gamma of n is equal to integral from 0 to infinity x is equal to l m whole power n minus 1 e power minus x x is equal to minus l m dx and dx is equal to l d m now it is equal to integral from 0 to infinity l power n minus 1 m power n minus 1 e power minus l m l d m which is equal to l power n minus 1 and l power 1 which is equal to l power n integral from 0 to infinity m power n minus 1 e power minus l m d m now now it is equal to gamma of n now dividing n power n on both sides then it will be equal to gamma of n divided by l power n is equal to integral from 0 to infinity m power n minus 1 e power minus l m d m now taking summation n varies from 1 to infinity both side so it will be equal to summation n varies from 1 to infinity gamma of n divided by l power n it was sorry uh, l varies from 1 to infinity taking summation l varies from 1 to infinity it will be equal to summation l varies from 1 to infinity integral from 0 to infinity m power n minus 1 e power minus l m d m l is a dummy variable it will be equal to gamma of n summation l varies from 1 to infinity 1 over l power n which is equal to integral from 0 to infinity m power n minus 1 summation l varies from 1 to infinity e power minus l m d m now it is equal to zeta of n now gamma of n zeta of n is equal to integral from 0 to infinity m power n minus 1 and it is equal to e power o minus m whole power l d summation l varies from 1 to infinity d m now it is a n finite geometric series and the n finite geometric series sum is equal to a1 divided by 1 minus r so a1 is equal to e power minus the first term is equal to e power minus m divided by 1 minus r and the uh, common ratio is equal to e power minus m d m so it is equal to integral from 0 to infinity m power n minus 1 if i multiply and divide e power m to the numerator and denominator then it will be equal to 1 divided by e power m minus 1 d m which is equal to gamma of n zeta of n is equal to integral from 0 to infinity m power n minus 1 divided by e power m minus 1 d and this is the relationship between gamma function and zeta function.